Hey everybody, I wanted to do a quick bike check video to give you my thoughts on my new bike which is a 2019 Specialized Stump Jumper Comp. Um, I bought this over the summer to replace my 2017 Marin Attack Trail 8 and uh, so far I've been fairly happy with it but I thought I'd give you a, a quick uh, video to give you my thoughts on kind of what I like and what I don't like about it. Um, Obviously one of the unique features of this bike is the sidearm that Specialized Claim adds additional stiffness to the frame and uh, you know to be honest I can't really tell if it does that or not because I'm not that hardcore of a rider um, but uh, I, well, it does kind of give it a unique look I gotta say. Um, out back I have a Fox Float DPS Performance shock thingamajigger with 140 millimeters of travel. Now actually I kind of thought that 140 might not be enough for me because which is actually kind of silly when I think about it now because I'm hardly getting that, that high off the ground. But my old bike was like 150 or 160 I think and I thought like, well, oh, 140 doesn't sound like a lot. But actually I've been to Whistler a number of times with it and um, once I got it dialed in, actually then it was fine. In the beginning it sucked. I was bottoming out all the time. I couldn't figure out how to dial, the, dial in this shock but once I got it dialed in, it, it kind of worked a lot better. And I have to say that 140 hasn't been too bad. Um, I've been getting some air over in Whistler, getting a little bit higher each time I go over there. And so far, uh, it's been okay for me. Uh, I'm not catching like huge massive air off of like Dirt Merchant or anything like that. But uh, slowly getting up there. So I think I'll probably buy a dedicated DH bike for next season anyways. But for now, I find like the 140 is pretty good for the trail riding that I do around here. Up front, I've got a Fox Float Rhythm 34 with 150 millimeters of travel. Um, so far I don't really have any complaints uh, with this front fork either. Um, other than the fact that I wish Fox would add the sag measurements to the fork like RockShox does because it just makes it a whole lot easier to adjust the sag when you can actually just look at the, the little lines on the shock. I don't know if RockShox has a patent on this or what but um, it does make it a lot easier. But yeah for me I mean for the Rhythm 34 with the 150 millimeter travel is, is totally fine. I don't, I don't have any complaints about it. Um, like, I get, like I said, I'm not that hardcover rider to notice a huge difference in these, in these components. So maybe in the future I might, but for now it's fine. Um, let's see, out back I have a SRAM NX Eagle cassette. And I have to say I do like the Eagle cassette with the big 50 in the back. Because actually if, if you watch my channel for a while, you know that I upgraded my old cassette on my old Marin. To like uh, the Shimano XT one with like a 48 or something in the back. I can't remember exactly what that was, but um, that made a huge difference. So I went, I think it was a 46, then I went to 48, and no, no, it was a 42, and then I went to like a 46 or 48, I think, and now I have a 50 in the back. So yeah, I love the big ring in the back. It certainly does make climbing a lot easier. Um, what I don't love is the SRAM NX derailleur, railer, railer. Um, why is it called a derailleur? Why do some people call it a mech? I don't understand why some people call it a mech and some people call it a derailleur. Maybe you can tell me why, but anyways, whatever the hell this thing is called, I don't like this thing at all. I find the shifting is clunky and poor and it doesn't, I've tried to dial it in. I've taken it to like four different bike shops and it just doesn't seem to get dialed in properly. So I think in the future, I'll probably uh, replace this derailleur, derailleur, derailleur sometime in the future if I whack it on a rock or something like that and get something a little bit different but uh, never been too, not too happy with this NX component so far. Um, for stopping power I have the SRAM Guide R4 piston calipers and I do have to say that I really like the modulation of the SRAM brakes better than the Shimano ones. The Shimano ones are like on or off. You squeeze it and that's like that's all your braking power you're getting like right there. Where the Shimano ones I feel is like better modulation and I really like that a lot better on the trails than the Shimano ones. So I'm very very happy with these brakes. Uh, let's see here moving over to the cockpit I have a chrome OS X bar in uh, 760 millimeter width which actually kind of sucked because they originally came in 780 and I used to run 760 on my old bike so I chopped them down but now I actually wish I hadn't and I actually kind of enjoyed the 780. I, I rode the 780 for a little bit and I, and I felt like the area that I was riding was quite quite wooded so I was like man it's a little bit a little bit wide I keep whacking it on trees um, so then I chopped it down to 760 but I'm like damn it now it feels too short so I actually kind of wish I kept it at 780 so I might actually just replace it with a 781. Um, for grips, I've got a set of ODI Rogue Grips. I really like these grips. I like these big chunky blocks in them, which allows kind of air to flow through, uh, keep my hands cool. I usually don't ride with gloves, so I like grips that have kind of like a, 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 like a chunk in this so that the air can go through, and not grips that you like, you, you know, you, you, if you, there's no movement, your hands get really sweaty, so I like these grips quite a bit. 
Um, under the grip, I have a PNW component loam lever. Uh, this is a really nice, nice uh, dropper post lever. Uh, super smooth, really well machined. Uh, overall, I like it. The uh, only thing I wish, I wish I could move it a little bit over to the left because it's a little bit too far to the right, so it's a little bit hard to reach. But uh, otherwise, uh, it's uh, the, the machining and the manufacturing of it is really nice. And overall, I think my cockpit looks really good. I think the little the little red bits that I have throughout the bike kind of uh, complement like the overall black and white look of my bike. So I'm really happy with my cockpit so far. Uh, let's see here. The saddle is an Ergon SM Pro men's saddle, which is uh, made by Z Germans. Uh, apparently they've designed this to perfectly fit your men's bits so you just dangle your nuts into that little hole there and you're all good to go. <laughs> uh, but like I said, I do like the saddle though, it's pretty comfortable. Um, moving down from the seat, I have a set of Black Spire Designs oval chain ring. Everyone always asks me about the oval chain ring, like man do you like the oval chain ring? Oval chain ring is so great. I'm like what the hell are you guys talking about? Like I remember oval chain rings back in like the 80s, it was called Biopace. This isn't new. I don't know why anyone's like thinking it's such a new revolutionary thing, but it's like, yeah, it used to be a thing called Biopace. Then it came out and everyone hated it, and then now it's back, so I don't know. I do like the pedals though. I've, I've switched to flat pedals on this bike, to, whereas I used to run uh, clipless before. And I, I have to say, I gotta admit though, I do like the flat pedals here. It, I, I enjoy kind of learning how to ride with flat pedals. Um, uh, I remember the first time I tried flat pedals, I hated it, but actually with these, not necessarily these pedals per se, but I do like the flat pedals. I like how it's kind of changed my riding style a bit and, and allows me to challenge things that I normally wouldn't have done before. So I'm really enjoying um, riding with the flat pedals and the, the oval chain and the flat pedals are made by a local Vancouver based company. So that's really cool to support a local BC company. Um, to give all that BC mud off me, I have a pair. Of, I have a set of uh, or uh, a Synchros mud guard up front, and I really like this mud guard because it's actually specifically designed for the Fox 34 shock, so it just screws right into the fork crown. So you don't have to worry about zip ties or anything like that. Just screw it right in, and you're good to go. So if you, if you have a shock that fits or a fork that fits, it's probably one of the best fenders on the market for for that. Um, and of course the last thing I added uh, was the Canadian MTB sticker and it's a little known fact that this sticker actually will make you three miles an hour faster on the trail. So overall I'm pretty happy with the bike. I do like the frame but I feel like Specialized kind of cheaped out on the components a bit and they probably did that to bring the price down because this bike's only about $4,000 uh, but the geometry and all that is the same as their higher end bike, their carbon one and I actually test rode the carbon one before and I didn't like it because it was so light and fast I crashed it and I broke my camera so I actually do like this combination of the aluminum frame which is a bit, a bit heavier matched with the 29 inch wheels which ride a bit faster so I think actually this combo works really well for me right now um, but uh, the components are a bit cheaper, but I can upgrade those later on. I'll probably upgrade the, uh, the uh, derailleur and, the, and what you call it, um, shifters uh, next. But uh, other than that, I'm very happy with it. And one thing I actually really like about this bike is I like how clean it looks. I don't like bikes with tons of stickers and graphics and all that crap all over them. I like bikes that have a very clean design. And actually, you don't even see that many white bikes. I love the fact that this bike is just all white. And I like the fact that Specialized was really... Um, uh, subtle with their graphics like they just put like one sticker on the top to says like stump jumper and then one sticker on the bottom uh, on the, not only the bottom but the bottom of the down tube that says specialized so you can't even really see it from the side it's underneath the the, the down tube it's even more discreet um which says uh specialized on it so overall i really like the look of the bike and i am looking forward to riding it a whole lot more next season yeah i guess that quarter fuck that one up though <laughs> Woo! God, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs>